My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, while addressing to uh, bishops, priests, deacons, consecrated uh, persons, seminarians, and lay pastoral workers of South Sudan on last Saturday morning, February 4th, on his uh, ecumenical pilgrimage at this uh, African country, Pope Francis urged the clergy of South Sudan do not be afraid to imitate two aspects of Moses' character, namely his uh, meekness and intercession. The child responds to God's initiative and intercedes for the people of God. The Pope said, Our first duty is not to be a church that is perfectly organized, but a church that, in the name of Christ, stands in the mix of the people's troubled lives, a church that is willing to dirty its hands for people. Then the Holy Father prayed that the clergy of South Sudan will always be generous pastors and witnesses, armed only with prayer and love because this is the way to follow Jesus and to be close to the people of God as the ministers of God in the land scattered by war, hatred, violence, and poverty. Jesus in today's gospel shows us Jesus is really a merciful and compassionate God for all. When his popularity had grown and people flocked to him constantly from all places, Jesus did not reduce his availability with the people. He was not choosy since Everyone badly needed healing, freedom from evil infestation and other needs. Jesus even allowed the tassel of his cloak to be a source of healing. The story of the Gospel for today tells us of the non-discriminative trait of Jesus in welcoming all those who come to him for healing. Nobody came to Jesus and went away unresponded to. The only thing Jesus needs in order to heal is the gift of faith. Because through this, God make us through the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit opens the eyes of the mind and the mind and help us to understand then welcome and believe God's word and the way we may grow in faith that is listening to God's word with trust and submission faith also grows through testing and perseverance we see this in the life of faith of the two countries, Congo and South Sudan. Truly, the Lord wants to teach us how to pray in faith for His will, for our lives, and for the things He wishes to give us to enable us to follow Him faithfully and serve Him generously. So my dear brothers and sisters, we may not be able to heal as Jesus did because we may not have the healing power Jesus had, of course. But this should not preclude our willingness to help others in the same situation. We may not even be doctors who can diagnose and treat the sick. But we can always offer our 
reassuring presence with the sick. We can always encourage them to hang on and not be discouraged due to untreatable disease conditions. We can do that. And then we can always make them comfortable by not giving up on them, neither ab abandoning them, by helping them to come to terms with the impending death, we help them not to feel hopeless, for that is not losing everything, but gaining the best of things. It was always Jesus' character to be one with the sick, as he did in today's gospel. Jesus made himself available especially to those who needed him most. It should not be different with us who profess to bear Christ's name. So may the Lord Jesus, through the intercession of St. Paul Miki and companions, help us to do this mission in our daily activities with others. Amen.